now. Holy sh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, it's time to go. That is fresh blood right there, man. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Rob back with another reaction. And I did one of those polls again on my YouTube channel. I put like four found footage movies because I'm in the found footage mood these days. So I put four movies on there and the tunnel won by a lot, I think over 50%. So I got to do it. You know, them's the rules. For real though, I've heard great stuff about this. I heard it's pretty spooky. It's Australian. Time to get back into my Aussie. Movie. And again, I won't do the Australian accent. I know that's annoying. I've been pumped for this all day. This is the highlight of my day right here watching this. So hopefully it's good. So this came out in 2011. So early, kind of, in the found footage game. Yeah, it's always creepy when these movies start off with a 911 phone call. Yeah, I could never be one of those 911 operators. 2011, I'm thinking, what was out, like, found footage-wise? I mean, Paranormal Activity, obviously. I know, like, Diary of the Dead came out. Maybe The Last Exorcism, maybe? That may be after, I don't know. A cool little intro here. Doesn't scream like your typical found footage intro, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The New South Wales government has unveiled a radical solution to the water crisis. It plans to tap into an abandoned reservoir under the city. Fire. I'm sure nothing will go wrong there. <laughs> right? <laughs> that actually doesn't sound like that bad of a plan, you know? It makes sense. I mean, nobody's using these tunnels anyway. Besides maybe homeless people. In a similar scenario in the U.S., hundreds of homeless were recently evicted from... See? Kicking all the... Homeless people out of there. That's not cool. After the initial fanfare, the story dried up. It was like the whole thing never happened. Yeah, that's sketchy, dude. Hey. Cheers, mate. What's your birthday message? Oh, isn't it bad luck to say cheers without an actual alcoholic drink? I think it's bad juju. Yes. That's how good I am. I need to hear it. That dude's killing the mustache, man. I really need to grow mine back out. I was rocking it for a solid, like, two weeks, man. I was I was killing it. I mean, no females told me I look good, but I could see it in their face. When they walked by me, they gave me that, like, you know. I know the look. So I'm guessing this is, like, the production crew. Again, I like this. I've said this before. I like when movies do the, they give us the the calendar, like day one, day three. This is kind of doing that. Quite clearly, though, there was something there in the tunnel. Look at that. God, what'd they shoot this on a Kmart toaster? Can't see shit. I'm gonna fucking yeah, it was like the lowest quality video ever. There. I guess it was 2007, though. Anyway, wait. Come on. What's up, girl? Oh, yeah. Something gnarly's in the tunnel. Some strength. Since when does a decent journalist use YouTube as research? It was a good clip, but at the time I thought, she's crazy. You know what's funny? Is I bet, like, all researchers use YouTube now. It's a valuable tool. But I guess back in even 2011, it was not taken seriously. And some rumors started to surface that not only were there homeless living in the tunnels, but there were homeless that were going missing. You know, at that point, we slowly started to think. Maybe there's a monster in the tunnel, you know? I don't know, but maybe. If it was true that homeless were going missing, this was a big story. It's and it was a really The monster is feeding on homeless people. Yeah, this guy knows what's up. Tell us the truth, man. What's in the tunnel? And eventually I came across one particular homeless man who I had believed had been living in the tunnels. Oh, here we go. Eyewitness report right here. 
this uh, hobo, or I think that's not correct. We can't call them hobos anymore. Just homeless people, right? That's the politically correct term. What circumstances took you to living in the tunnels? Uh, well, it kept me and the mates warm in the winter. Yeah, it's free shelter. Don't a ton of people in New York City live, live in, like, the, the tunnels? Need some type of coverage, shelter. Do they still live down there now? No. Probably because they got ate by the monster. Trevor, at that point in the interview, I asked Trevor what he perhaps had been through in the tunnels. I asked Trevor what he had seen. Clearly, something had happened to him. Trevor, did anything happen to you down there? <laughs> Yikes, man. This dude's seen some shit, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Whatever was down there, man, definitely screwed him up. I needed more. We needed to get down there. Hell yeah. Let's go. Apparently no one's getting in there, and I don't think you'll be getting any special treatment. Looks like you're going to have to break into the tunnels. Duh. Ain't nobody getting access to those tunnels. You gotta sneak in. It's kind of like, um, As Above, So Below. You remember that movie? Pete, I'm like a fucking shark. As long as I keep moving, I'll be okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is what you look like. Oh, hell yeah. They got the night vision. Gotta have that. Oh, man. I'm, I'm ready for this. Let's go down. The thing is, how do you get in without permission, you know? Excuse me, guys. Guys, hold up. Restricted area. Oh, sorry. Oh, already got busted. He didn't even... <laughs> Two seconds, I already got busted. You gotta pull something out of your ass here. Hey. How much you got in your wallet? Yeah. You gotta line this dude's pocket a little bit. What do you give him, like... Give him a hundo? I think a hundred bucks is fair. Oh, wow. Look at this sketchy ass entrance here. Dude, you need like bolt cutters or something, man. Yeah, take this. Oh, are you gonna try and squeeze in there? Okay, let's go. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, I could definitely fit through there. I just like. All right, they're in. We will come in, and you know it's kind of my job. God, dude, that's a big ass camera, man. That is not gonna be practical when shit goes down. It is completely black down there. Yeah, dude, fuck this, man. We're gonna have to keep the light on and stay across where we are, because otherwise it's gonna be pretty easy to get lost down there. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Tangles, how to Steve? Hopefully, you got enough batteries for those. Those flashlights, I mean... There were whole sections of tunnels that weren't even on the map. Okay. Yeah, I could easily see these tunnels being, like, a maze, man. So easy to get lost in. I was blown away by the size of it. It was massive and just eerie. Yeah, super eerie. Especially with that train ambiance noise going on in the background. That's spooky shit, man. looks like it just goes on forever it wasn't really difficult to get great looking shots down there yeah this is like a filmmaker's dream down here man all these cool shots you don't even have to try it was evident that there was definitely you know homeless or you know people living down there wow look at that definitely like a little house in there look it's like bunk beds Ugh. coming across story it was did they bring, like, a weapon? Because <laughs> you're, like, bumbling around some of these homeless people's houses, dude. You better have, like, a knife or something, man. It's a good way to get shanked. I'll get a shot of you going down there, actually. Yeah. So. Hang on. Oh, hey, hey, light. Oh. oh. Matt, 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 you all right? You all right? Yeah, I'm right. Do you need a hand? No, I'm fine. Matt? I would not mess with that ladder, dude. That is too tight for me. Yeah, give me the torch. I don't know how much they're paying these reporters or this camera crew, but whoa. 
I need guaranteed bonus after this one. This is giving me very much as above, so below vibes. Also, remember that segment in VHS? Was it 94? The, the sewer drain one? Maybe Ratman is down there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I doubt it, but you never know. Hail Ratma, by the way. Early this year, the no, government... Sorry. Sorry. Hey, are you making noise? No. <clears throat> you want whispering? Oh, man. The audio guy is hearing weird noises. After we'd finish our piece at the lake, um, we decided to head for the bell room. Uh, <laughs> Dude, look at these rooms, man. Oh. Shit, that blew my levels right off the meter. So. He asked me to listen right. to the audio for him, which is fine. Something's going on with the audio here, man. And it's, it's getting a little creepy. <laughs> Tangles! Oh, dude. The sound guy might be done, though, man. Tangles! Tangles, come on. Tangles is probably a goner. You know, I knew there was something wrong. I knew he wasn't mucking around. My initial thought was just to get to Definitely him. wasn't mucking around. Oh, man. Are we going to hear the, the room audio? Let's go, dude. Uh, yep, ready to go. Try <laughs> Whoa. Sound like someone was getting suffocated or something. Or choked. <laughs> wow. That is cursed audio right there. Tangles! Maybe three. That's a dead end. Tangles! Five. Go ahead. It's always the sound guy that goes first, man. Poor boom operators, man. Well, we, got, we need the torches, mate. We've got to go back to the bell ring. Right, Tangles. It's all right. We got him. We'll get him. We'll find him. Come on. All right. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, you got to get those flashlights. Walk back into the bell. Shit, everything's gone. What? Classic. All your shit's gone. Oh, yeah, take this. At that point, hey, you gotta go. Just give me some lights, just. Dude. I know the the story is important, but you gotta leave. It won't do Tangles any good if we run around like headless troops. We stick together, all right? Good plan. Stick together. Dude, you're gonna get lost down here. Steve. We still don't know what it is. I don't know about you, man, but I'd be like marking my spots so I could find my way back. Well, how much light you got? I've got enough. He says he's got that and two batteries, so. Shh. Mm. Yeah, that was definitely sound like shuffling or something. Get it off! Get it open! Why would he be in there? What? Wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. It's time to go. That is fresh blood right there, man. And his flashlight. <laughs> this and, news uh, report just drastically changed. Let's go. Let's go. Good idea. Yeah. Listen to her. Your stupid news report about water reservoirs. Throw that shit out. We all came out together, and she noticed the camera had been moved. My instinct was to... And whatever this thing is, it's messing with you hardcore. It's almost like taunting you, you know? Ooh. We played back the footage, and uh, was someone had picked up the camera. It had come off the ground, and there were shots of us. Oh, wow, that is fucking scary. So it's got to be human. It's got to be. Maybe it's like some big killer homeless person. Oh, wow. 
Okay. That took a second for my brain to realize what I was looking at. Mate, I am not fucking leaving him down here with whatever the fuck that was. Right now. Dude, he's dead. Go. Right now to get out of here. Dude, maybe it's like those ghouls or demons or whatever in that movie The Descent, you know? Maybe it's those type of creatures. Just cave dwellers. What? Can you find your way back, though? That's the thing. Back up, back up. He's alive. He's alive. Shh. There was somebody up there. Oh, Who's it's there? A, it's a security guard. Hey. I told you guys not to come down here. Gonna, Help. Wow. We're leaving. Is he going to help us? Go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, dude. I did not see that coming. <laughs> what is this? That was like the creature from a quiet place just yeeted him across the fucking room. Ooh, this is a good one, man. Thanks for recommending me this one. Yeah, it's kind of like as above, so below meets like wreck or quarantine, you know? Even like a hint of grave encounters in there a little bit. Oh, good. Let's go. I just thought of this. Do none of them have cell phones? I mean, it's 07, but... People definitely had, like, razors and sidekicks and shit, right? Flip phones, at least. I'm sure, there, there'd probably be, like, no service down here anyway, so whatever. This wasn't here before. Wait. What are you doing? See, now the map's changed. The directions have all changed. It's like playing mind games with you, the tunnels. No. Oh, fucking tell me John knows we're here. Oh, she didn't tell anyone. She didn't tell her boss. No one knows they're down there. We just great job. What? What is it? You there? These dudes are just following random noises, man. It's like I can't tell if it's footsteps or if it's just like. Oh, never mind. That sounded definitely like something. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Oh, Jesus. What the Jesus. fuck is that? Oh, there's another one. Oh, Oh. oh wow, she sees you. It looks like a female. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Run. <laughs> now you don't know where the hell you are, man. Like, it's right there. <sighs> guy kind of... Sorry. This dude kind of looks like the guy who plays uh, Doctor Strange. Benedict Cumberbatch a little bit. A little bit. Everything was unraveling. It was because of me. Yeah, it's all your fault. You're who to blame. It's all your fault. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dude, I kind of like looked away for a split second and holy shit. And that was sort of dawned on me then that the light was our way. It, it doesn't like the light. Oh, it doesn't like the light. Classic. Is it just one? Or are there multiple? Oh, okay. A little secret passageway. Uh, you gotta crawl through that thing, dude. Fuck this, man. Keep that light on. What the hell is this? It's like a nest or something, you know? 
Dude, you are in the lion's den. Okay. Now. Holy sh... <laughs> oh, man. Of course, I should have seen that coming, man. <laughs> you still didn't really get a good look at it, though. But I knew the dude who looks like Doctor Strange was going to get got. Because he wasn't in the interviews, you know? All right, this is very much like wreck. Oh God, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> this is not the time to be breaking down right now. Oh, sh oh my God, man. Oh. You see it moving? Just like, that's some scary shit right there, bro. Oh. <laughs> wow. I yeah, I don't even know what it is. It broke the camera though. You could see that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you hear the noises it's making? Oh. <laughs> Wow. It's like a demon bitch. They're doing a really good job not really showing it, but just keeping it just in the shadows. You get one little frame of a glimpse. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's go. Let's keep going. Wow, they made it. <laughs> Can you imagine? That feeling once you made it to the surface level, like I just kissed the ground. Oh, dude, this dude made it out. Doctor Strange lives. He made it out. Well, this news lady got a hell of a story right there. What a scoop! Damn. Oh, maybe Doctor Strange is not going to make it out. Yeah, I don't think so. I knew he wouldn't make it, man. He wasn't in the the interviews. So, of course, he wasn't going to make it. R.I.P. Pete. I feel like that I could have done more to help Pete. Yeah, you kind of just let Pete out there, out the dry. <laughs> He's just there dying on the floor. And you're doing nothing. Nothing on him. They've... But hey. She got her story, didn't she? I don't want to say that I felt like it was my fault. It is your fault. I go over it again and again. I, I don't know about you, ma'am, but if I went through something like that, I could not just go back to being a normal person. <laughs> For real. Yeah, she resigned. Of course, man. There's no way you can go back. Uh, this dude's still in the game. Contradictory evidence. Sure. Yeah. They know what's going on down there. That was cool. That was very well done. All right. Well, that was the tunnel for you. Um, <laughs> that was a spooky little flick, dude. Yeah, I could totally see why this was recommended a bunch of times. It's classic found footage, man. And the fact this came out in 2011 makes total sense. It really, because this was like when the craze was really starting to brew up. And I feel like now watching this, I could see a lot of movies that came after it taking a lot of notes from this one. And whether they're ripping it off or influenced, whatever, but... This this one definitely did its job, man. And I thought it was cool that they didn't really show you what it was, man. They gave you just enough to make you shit your pants. <laughs> There's a couple good jump scares in there that really got me. So I'd highly recommend the tunnel. I think the whole thing is on YouTube. 
you can just watch it and it's an above average very solid found footage flick i'm glad i checked this out this seems like a staple of the subgenre. so so yeah thanks for watching i'll probably do another one of those polls with some options and uh if you like the video leave it a like and comment if you have any other recommendations for me or anything but until then dude fucking underground tunnel dwellers man spooky <laughs> see ya